So I honestly have not made this again without so much noise all right so angle this down so I got this idea from watching the YouTube videos on making book page Christmas trees using book pages as the as the branches as the layers and I thought it would be kind of cool to maybe use an old shopping bag and this is just a craft paper shopping bag I, don't, I can't use these. These are from my trip to the motherland. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to cut. Actually, I'm going to cut this open. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it easy. I'm just going to use my, well, I know these are fabric only scissors, but I'm going to go ahead and use them for this paper anyway. I have to mark my scissors fabric only so they don't disappear from my craft room because they will. I don't know if I need to make these a little bit longer or what. I'm just going to cut strips. I have my glue gun warmed up and I'm working on my dining room table because my craft room is a disaster. Alright. So I cut. Um, and... I'm gonna go ahead and wonder if I need to cut the strips now or do it later. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let's just try one because I've never done one of these before. Okay. I'm gonna do the first layer about midway down because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cutting the little leaves into it. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue, not too much, and then glue this down. Let's see. First, like the first little layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and just cut. What do you think? Hmm? All right, so maybe we'll cut smaller strips like that and then overlap. Maybe smaller. Now we're going to overlap. so they're curved up. Oh, I can make it into a work counter surface space well, in my shed. I know it's more well, stuff. You've got stuff too. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm not hearing it. Oh yeah, this is better. This is better. Well, the pencil works great as a little curling iron too. That is going to work a lot better. Yes, indeed. So let's try that. Okay. 
like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do another row. I wonder if I could just do the same thing instead of cutting it in pieces, just go ahead and cut and then just, oh, maybe not. that cutting and rolling multiple pieces at once was really just a more efficient use of my time and then just cutting the little branches at the same time too. The smaller pieces were a lot easier to work with and I think it's just because they're you know the cone is so curved I didn't I really didn't really think about that when I first started this project so just having the smaller pieces makes makes them easier to work with to fit around the cone and then I'm just using you know, using my same bag, cutting the strips, rolling them out, and then cutting the, um, you know, the slits in them. Really, I'm cutting about halfway through the strip. So not all the way through the strip, but just about halfway. And that is the perfect, uh, the perfect size for the little branches. Um, just continuing all the way around the cone, cutting more strips, curling them, and then cutting branches as I need to and then just continuing all the way around the cone until the cone is completely filled up. This really took a lot less paper than I thought. I can't believe I still had a paper grocery bag in my stash because I can't tell you the last time that I got a paper, an actual paper grocery bag at the grocery store. I mainly use the recycled, uh, reusable grocery bags when I go to the grocery store, so surprised I still had a paper bag. There's so many great uses for, for these paper bags. You can use them as mulch in your garden, all kinds of things. All right, so once I got have the whole tree filled, I'm just taking extra pieces and fluffing up some blank spots here and there. And, and then for the tree topper, I have a little craft paper star from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna glue the snot out of it. Here we go. Just got some strings. I'll get rid of those. I'm not worried about it because this is going on my fireplace. Let me show you. Let me show you where I'm gonna put it. Move Mr. Oyster out of the way. I've had this one for years. There we go. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I love it. It's very simple and very homey and it just, oh, I just love it. Give it a try. This would be a great craft with kids or I don't know, for maybe a wine and craft night. That'd be fun. Give it a try. Thanks friends.